All right, Shalom. First and foremost, all praise and glory is unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Harakakwadash. The Bolana to the apostles and the elders at the Great Millstone. And greetings, salutations, and blessings unto the men and women, <clears throat> as well as their children that give their life diligence uh, to make their calling and election sure, that they have changed their lives and repented toward Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, the Heavenly Father, and His only begotten Son through the Holy Spirit, that they may earn their salvation. Okay? It's the brother Shaquat from the Las Vegas camp. And uh, uh, I want to get into a quick video about brotherhood, okay? These curses are coming up off of us, and we're starting to see the difference between um, the regular people of the world versus the men of the Lord. It's a different vibration, a different spirit that's happening, okay? Real quick, um, if you come across this video and you've been watching uh, the... Uh, GMS uh, Sin City Las Vegas page um, got another strike, so uh, you can tune into this page until um, those strikes come off. Uh, Lord willing, in the near future. But anyway, to get on to this video, I'm going to start with um, Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, and the 54th verse, which is the curses. Okay, showing you that we are under these curses. All right, and this is part of what kept us uh, uh, bickering and, and, and bumping heads with one another, you know, uh, uh, doing this captivity. All right, this is Deuteronomy 28, 54. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother. Okay, and that's the point. And it says, and toward the, um, the wife of his bosom and toward the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. But when it says, uh, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother, we've always seen that. And what brother am I talking about? I don't mean necessarily the brother of uh, that come from the same father or from your same mother. I'm talking about the brother that's uh, one of your fellow tribesmen, so to speak. Okay, that may be from another tribe or even the same tribe. You walk around these cities and you see gang banging, Negroes versus uh, uh, Hispanics. Okay, different gang versus gang. It's all our people living in the same. Terrible conditions in the neighborhoods, okay? Uh, basically, the crabs in a bucket spirit. Well, through the power of Yahweh by Shemiah we're Shah, we're, we're being changed over. Matter of fact, I'm going to grab a, another precept real quick. We're being changed over and, and, and being healed, okay, through the Holy Spirit, that we can come together and all them petty differences that, that we watched generations before us go through and we've even lived in in some of our early years, that now that we've come into this truth, we don't see, don't see it that way no more. We don't worry about our brother swindling us. We don't worry about uh, 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 a brother getting up higher in rank than us. Okay? We play our role. We put our head down. And we want what's best for everybody. Okay? And sometimes that man being over you is what's best. Sometimes it's vice versa. Whichever the case may be. But the point is, we have the best interest for one another. Okay, this is Isaiah chapter 6, verse 9. It says, And he said, Go and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. Some people will see this and not understand. Some people will see the curses and not understand. Okay, it says, Make the heart of this people fat, and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and convert and be healed. Okay, and part of you watching the proof of the conversion that's been happening through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Shai is brothers are coming together. Okay, I I hadn't seen a situation to where a group of men, you know, Hispanic, Negro, uh, Native American, you know, and even and even um, the brothers that may be Israelite foreigners um, that look like another nation but have the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Shai within them through their father line come together and, and, and really just hang out and chill, okay, and have and have a best interest, being servants one to another, okay, it's a beautiful thing, all right, that's the time we're living in, all right, but let me go to, um, yeah, I got to go to that one now, Psalm, where we at, Psalm 133, we know this one, it's a classic scripture, Okay, and brothers love to bring it out because it's such a beautiful scripture, especially when you're in the moment with it. Okay, uh, Psalm 133 and one, it said the Psalm of, uh, of Degrees of David it says, Behold, how good and how pleasant is it for brethren 
to dwell in unity. Okay? And we're seeing that. How are we brothers? We're brothers because we're, we're children of the patriarchs. The patriarchs are the 12 tribes of Israel. Okay, we're the sons of that. Okay, so when you see us out there teaching, this brother can finish my sentence. I can finish the, the next brother's sentence. And it don't matter what background we grew up in. It don't matter the age group that we grew up in. It's not just because we're reading the word. It's because we're all in the same spirit. Okay, we're all in, in humility and in fear and in reverence of Yahweh Shimei Shai trying to earn our salvation. Okay. Uh, let me see. Yep, I'm going to keep reading. It says, it is like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard, all the way down from top to bottom. Okay? No matter what rank you are within your camps, within within the body, it's it's a beautiful thing to be immersed, you know, and healed by the Spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahshad to bring us back together. Okay? I grew up believing I was a, a so-called Negro. And, and and believe it or not, when I heard that that, that um, the Northern Kingdom was, was a part of this thing, hey, I'll jump for joy. So it's, it's a messed up thing to, to hear these uh, Negro only or black only Israelites. Okay, this is not a black thing. It has nothing to do with the color of anybody's skin, but it has everything to do with the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Shah being on those people that are under these curses. And we're watching the curses come off through the wisdom and spirit of Yahweh Hashem Shah. Okay. As the dew of Hermon, as the dew of that descended upon the mountains of Zion, for there the Lord Yahweh commanded the blessing, even life forevermore. Okay, and this is what, and we're talking to a brother today, a brother uh, Banya Kanan from the Vegas camp. I was like, hey man, you know, we were talking about smiling and everything, and and we had to we had to agree that we never smile harder than once when when we're uh, amongst one another. I've had family, I have friends in the world, and you can have your fun. You can hear Eddie Murphy jokes or, or whom, Kevin Hart, who, whomever. But there's nothing like the smiles and the joy you feel when you're in the room with, with fellow brethren. Okay? When you see the spirit really show up in the room and, and, and edify you, and we all look around with joy one toward another. Okay? It's something special that that, that the world doesn't, doesn't even... Uh, know what it's all about you have to be within the body to understand it okay um yeah i'm not gonna keep this long I'm gonna, um yeah i'll just grab one more and i believe it is in the book of uh matthew i believe this is where it's at um let me let me see for sure yep matthew 22 i'll start at verse um let me see. Yeah, I'll, I'll read this one, but then I'll get into um into the to another chapter with it. Matthew chapter twenty two, verse uh, thirty six. It says, "Matt, we were funny. We this has come out a couple times." It says, "Um, math, uh, Master, which is the great commandment in the law?" Yahweh shall send it to him. Thou shalt love thy Lord, the Lord Yahweh, thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul. And with all thy mind, this is the first and great commandment. The second is like unto it that thou love thy neighbor as thyself. Okay, on these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. So let me go back to that one, right? Verse 39. And the second is like unto it. If you love the Heavenly Father, you have to love your, your fellow neighbor or your brother. Because that's who your neighbor is. It's your fellow, fellow brother, your fellow tribesman. When you look at the way, um, we well, we live in the same neighborhoods now. But you look in the ancient maps of Israel, the tribes were all stationed around each other. Okay? You, you know, one tribe was here, then the next tribe was right next to them, and the land next to them, and so on and so forth. Then a few of them were across the river of Jordan. Okay? Those were brothers together. Those are your neighbors. Okay? I'm actually going to look that word up real quick. Bear with me. Okay, this is uh, blueletterbible.org, Matthew 22 and 39. The second is like unto it, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Let's see what they give us for the word neighbor. Neighbor. Uh. Placeion. Placeion. 
okay? Uh, Plesion, Plesion, okay? Let's see what we got. A neighbor, a friend, any other person, and where two are concerned, the other, thy fellow man, thy neighbor. According to the Jews, any member of the Hebrew nation and commonwealth. Okay? So that lets you know that these are your fellow believers. Now, these other Israelites that are that are the two-thirds or the ones that haven't come into the ministry as of yet, we can't treat you uh, with, with the same affection within the brotherhood. Because you're not in the spirit of Yahweh Shemeshah, which means you haven't crossed over to be converted and to be healed. Okay, once once you've come out and you've humbled to our to our heavenly Father, then we can treat you as a true true brother. But but until that moment, or if you if it never happens, um, we can't admonish you as a brother. Okay, we we can't receive you as a brother. We can't treat you as a brother. Okay. It says, according to Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, the anointed, it says, uh, and any any other man, irrespective of nation or religion, of with whom we live or whom we chance to meet. Yeah, they always got something in these. Let's see what else we got. Lexicon. Mm-hmm. But I think that made the point on that, so let me go back. Yeah, that's the spirit. I'm going to just start here. Um, 1 John chapter 4, verse 1 said, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of the Most High, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. And as we see this influx about to come in uh, to the fold, we have to try these spirits by the spirit, okay? And we can't believe them. We have to prove a friend first, okay? Because a friend, a friend uh, will be there in your moments of adversity, not just when things are good. A friend will be there even when things are bad. Okay, that wasn't even the verse I wanted, but but it it, it fits so beautifully. Okay, so so the, the way you choose a friend, you have to be aware of that. Matter of fact, I do have something else. Before I mean, I, I get it after this, but let me get to it. Um, um verse um, yep, verse six. I started verse six, First John chapter four, verse six. We are of the Most High. He that knoweth the Most High heareth us. He that is not of the Most High heareth not us. Hereby we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. That's the, the discernment factor of, of, of if this person is a brother or if he's not a brother. If whether they hear the spirit of Yahweh the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Okay, it says, Beloved, let us love one another. For love is of the Most High and everyone that loveth is born of the Most High and knoweth the Most High. He that loveth not, yeah, knoweth not the Most High, for the Most High is love. Tough love sometimes, sweet love sometimes, so to speak. Okay? But but that's all within the, the frame of the brotherhood. And if you don't have the spirit of your of your Bashim Yashai on you, it's hard to know if you have that type of love about you because you don't because you're not going to correct me when I need to be. You're not going to be there for me when I need that need to be. And, and I won't feel comfortable being that towards you if you're not in the spirit of the Heavenly Father. The scriptures tell us to uh, do good unto, um, uh, uh, unto, unto knowing, know to whom thou do is good and, and help not unto a sinner. To roughly pray that I believe that's paraphrase it. I believe that's in um, Sirach the 12th chapter. I uh, read on as a little more. Yep, it says this in this was manifest the love of the Most High toward us because that Most High sent his only begotten son in the world that we might live through him. Herein is love, not that we love the Most High, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the propitiation for our sins. Beloved, if the Most High so loved us, we ought also to love one another. No man that no man has seen the Most High at any time. If we love one another, the Most High dwelleth in us. And that's what we love about one another. We love Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushai in, in their spirit inside one another. That's what we love about each other. Okay, that's the connection. That's the affection. That's the humility. Okay, that's that. that when I see that spirit in you, I want to be a servant unto you as I would unto Yahweh while Yahweh Shai. Unto them, okay? And his love is perfected in us as we put it together. And I learned from these brothers over here 
how to love. I learn from those brothers over there how to love. I put it all together and share it with my camp. And we come up with something and I spread it back all the way around. Okay? As a body would do. Okay? So hereby we know that we dwell in him and he in us. Because he hath given us of his spirit. Okay? So how, that's how we know that this is a beautiful thing to dwell in the brotherhood and how good and how pleasant it is because the spirit of the heavenly father is in us. When you look at these niggas in the world, man, they they not connected like that. They they all oh, down for the hood. They ain't down for each other like that. Okay? Not not like we are. Okay? Uh let me see. Yeah, that that was the point. Now let me get this other one. In Ecclesiastes, I almost slipped, let this one slip past me. Um, start with verse 9, yep. <laughs> and the brother Sha'ar from Dallas uh, hit me with this one. He kept saying, two is better than one, two is better than one. You know, you see a brother be like, damn, so many brothers, did I salute him? Hey, brother, two is better than one, you right. Another blessing, another day, you know. It says, uh. Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verse 9, two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. Okay, for if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow. And that's what we do in this brotherhood, man. A brother goes through something, you know, and, 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 I'm, and hey, you got a flat tire, brother, I'll be on the way. I got AAA, don't worry about it. Or I know a tow truck guy or something. Or we can change it. You know, I, I got the uh, the four way. I, I knock it out. Uh, you know, we can knock it out. I got a better jack. It'll make it faster. I'll be right there, bro. Make sure everything's safe. Okay? Or vice versa. If I'm going through issues with my woman, this brother may have experience that I need to, to learn from. Okay? The, the people in the world are plotting on each other's woman. They ain't trying to help you uh, have a better relationship with your woman. They're not giving you examples of what worked with their kids. You know, how you can help raise yours, you know, and, and teach them certain things. Okay, their mentality and their vibration is on some way off. Okay, it's basically in, um, selfish and internal versus ours. We share ours external with one another. Okay, it says, uh, for if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow, but woe to him that is alone when he falleth, for he hath not another to help him, to help him up. Again, if two lie together, then they have heat. They 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 share the body heat, okay? It ain't no 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 homosexual or nothing. It's just simply, hey, it's freezing out here, bro. Let's stand closer together. Let's huddle up, okay? How can how can one be warm alone? If you have you don't have that that in between each other to stay warm, okay? And if you need to see something to that effect, uh, uh I believe they showed something like that in um. What movie was that I was watching? It wasn't was it The Revenant or was it Star Wars? It was something like that. It was some movie they were outside and they all kind of cut they both cuddled up. I think it was Star Wars maybe. But they they cuddled up to stay warm to, to get past the night. Okay, it says um verse 12. And if one prevail against him, two shall withstand him. And a threefold cord is not quickly broken. Yeah, because you got other strings on the, or, you know, part of that cord to, uh, to, 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 to hold it together in the moment of weakness. Okay. All right. So, so that that's what this brotherhood is for, man. You know, that's what this brotherhood is about, and you're gonna see the major difference. Where's another one? This one in John, I believe. Let me let me pull this. See if I can find it. Okay. Yep. And then I'll close with this one, John 13 and 34. A new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you. Okay? That ye also love one another. Okay? By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if you have loved one to another. Okay? And that's the difference that you know we're, we're the disciples of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Because of the love and the brotherhood that we express one toward another. We believe in that scripture when it says, um, who is my mother and my brethren, those that do the will of my father. Okay? When he stretched forth his arms. That's how you know the difference. Okay? We're looking out for each other's best. Hey, watch your back. Right? Hey, look out for this. 
And when you go over there, tell them that and this, and you get the, 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 uh, the code for the sale and the discount code or whatever. Just, just it may seem so small, but those are the things that uh, I go at you, bro. Those are the little things that make all the difference in this, okay? You will know the difference by the love we have for one another, okay? And all men will look at us and be like, hey, there's something different about y'all. Yeah, we actually care about each other, okay? In a, in a completely heterosexual way. A, 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 we, we show people, in the, I have brothers in the, in, you know, of the world, family of the world, cousins and whatever, but I'm closer with, with my brothers in this in this faith. Okay? And, and when you come into this fold, you're going to begin to see the same things. Okay? So with that, I'm going to close out. Lord willing, this was edifying and, and showing you how, how vital the, 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 uh, the brotherhood is to this thing. It's going to be able to hold us together. Hey, brothers going to be healing each other for the love you have for one another. Oh, man. Okay? It's going gonna, it's gonna to be su such a beautiful thing to be in the body of that versus utter chaos and and uh, the, uh, the love of it says the love of many shall wax cold. All those things are going to be happening, but we're going to have wonderful, hot, uh, 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 care for one another, man. All right. So like I said, Lord, what this was edifying, giving all praise and glories unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Arukakudash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Greetings, salutations, and blessings unto the elect. Until the next one, Shalom.